from Cedro Willie, Washington. I'm Lee Omar, I'm Jason's father from Harrisburg, South Dakota. And when did you guys get started in racing? Well, the first time we raced in Assault was 2006. I was racing at SCTA then, and then we heard about the Bub event here, and uh, we, liked, we came the next year, and we loved it, and we've been racing every year since. <laughs> Yeah, and I came out, we got salt fever when Dad ran at SCTA, and so I went back home and built a bike right away, a little CB350 supercharged, and you know, we were running over 100 with both our bikes, Yeah, we were happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's incredible, I started drag racing when I was a teenager way back in the 60s, well I'm going to say 60s, uh, way back in the 60s, and I, I always thought about land speed racing and finally uh, it took a while a few years to do it but I finally decided to do it and that was the beginning of this of our sodium distortion and I remember as a kid you always talking about Bonneville we came yeah. out here someday we knew we would yeah. and we came and spectated for four years yeah, a couple probably, of years three, four couple years we were spectators yeah and we uh, and, uh, and it was fun then too you know yeah. we, we used to love to see the cars and the roadsters but since we've been racing is when we've gotten involved with the people it's incredible that how what what uh, how close everybody is and what they would do anything for you. Every and year, we feel the same way. Every year, you know, I see the same people, and I don't think they'll remember me, but I remember them, and I just right. I'm like just another racer. And yesterday, every year, yesterday a guy came to us, never been on the salt before, had a regular sport bike, a uh, thousand cc uh, Yamaha, I forget the designation, but uh, uh, we knew why he was there because we tell. Tech, if anybody needs anything, come to Sodium Distortion Pits. And so he rolls up and I says, hey, how you doing? What do you need? And he pulls out a list. So we ended up safety wiring both axles and putting fire sleeve on the fuel, fuel line. And uh, putting numbers on a bike and giving him a helmet to use. Yeah. And somebody at the walk that was there, I don't think it was one of our regular crew, said, you just spent two hours working on a bike and you got your own work to do. For somebody you didn't know. Yeah. We were going to tear this thing on yesterday morning. We ended yeah. up helping a couple said, different guys. And he said, you worked on that bike for two hours and you don't even know the guy. I said, that's right. Yeah. We, uh, we came back this year with a new motor and the new bodywork. The bike went 150 last year naked. Set two records. Came back this year, wanted a couple more. We uh, went 158 for a new record. And we didn't get a chance to change classes because I blew the motor up. And I was telling these guys, trying to make myself feel better, maybe, that I'd be out here running if I never set a single record. You know, I'd come out and blow this thing up every year, and never set a record, and I'd still be back, so. Your brother Jimbo, man, he has been an inspiration to us. I remember seeing him back in what, 07 when I first came here as a competitor. He's on that old Sportster, and that thing just runs faster and faster every year. So to see him every year, it's like welcoming back family, you know, and he, he takes everybody in, he'll help anybody, and uh, what an inspiration to, to know that he goes home and wrenches on that thing all year long and comes back and increases his speed every single year. And here he is, just a, just one truck away, tearing that thing down right next to me. And uh, this is the place, when I can see, when I see Jimbo here, and we're here together, we know we're, we're setting records and Impound is a special place. And when we get to see each other here every year, it's a, it's a pretty cool deal. So congratulations to Jimbo too. Bill Woods. I'm, uh, as my bike says on the side, <laughs> Piloto Bill the Bill Woods Woods. 
and I'm here with Sodium Distortion racing at the Bonneville Saw Flats at the Bub 2011 uh, Land Speed Trials. And uh, take a lot of pride in being out here. There's a lot of us out here and we work really hard on shoestrings budgets out of a bay and a half garage. We put thousands of hours into our bikes that we hope to come out here and set land speed racing records with. Um, my bike in particular is a, it's a 500cc machine. It started life as a $1,200 dirt bike. And at 500 cc's, I've run now uh, north of 155 miles an hour, and I'm shooting for 168 to make it the fastest 500 cc uh, motorcycle that AMA has on record. So that's uh, that's one of the goals of coming out here, and and that's only one of them. Uh, I'm a district manager for Cornwall Tools, uh, the oldest tool company for a mobile tool company in the U.S. And I have Washington and uh, Northern Idaho and a little bit of Montana in my sales district, and um, I kind of live in the world that I play. Uh, I believe in selling our tools. I set up new dealers. I put people into business, and then I come out and I use the tools and I play with the with the products that we that we sell and promote and uh, and, and service. And I've chosen a lifestyle where it means a lot to me to have uh, the respect of of the other racers here at Bonneville. Uh, of my peers, of my my wife and family absolutely support this and they know that it means so much to us and to me to be out here and to try to do the thing where we push the limits and we get everything we can out of these bikes. Um, life, is, life is a really strange journey and I didn't think this was going to be what I was going to end up doing or spending anywhere near this much time doing, uh, but there really isn't anything else I'd rather do. Uh, being able to say you're the fastest person that you know of that's ridden any motorcycle for whatever the displacement or class or style is, uh, you can take a lot of pride in that. There's, I have no idea, I think there's 8 billion people on the planet or something and, you know, there's not that many records. There's, there's 150 records, you can pick one, but you only get one. Or if you're really good, you get more than one and then you start adding them up. But it, uh, uh, being part of Sodium Distortion has been great. We've met a lot of good friends from all over the country. Our team has grown to, a, we have friends in from, they race uh, team members from Colorado, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, California, San Diego. Um, and some of the records are personal records. One of the guys on our teams has an SR500. That we've been trying to beat an Australian guy's record for a Yamaha SR500 of 122 miles an hour. We've been after that for three years with one bike with one rider. And today was the day we took it down for 124 miles an hour. There's no record book. There's just a time slip to tell you how fast you went. But we know what we accomplished. And at the end of the day, it's really about personal satisfaction and meeting your personal goals for whatever your reasons are. And that's why we do this. Screaming on through that famous measured mile. Well, by the speed bug, I got bit. Now I just can't quit. I got the salt flats fever right here.